Well, what's going on everyone? RC84 here, like always. Thanks for watching. So my friends, welcome to the RC Rune Tour 2022. This is something that I like to do at least once a year. I like to show off my RC Rune because I am very proud of this thing. Uh, I feel like when I walk in this room, it's my own personal hobby shop and everything. Uh, I spent a great deal of time in here from tinkering with the RCs, doing the bills, the filming, and I also do other things as well in here. And like I said, I spent a great deal of time. Uh, now, I was recently on the RC conference there, live with J Mintz RC uh, in their, uh, their live stream they do called Show and Tell. And uh, so I was on there for about an hour and 50 minutes, uh, which I've never been on that long, talking about myself and my vehicles and everything. So it's really cool to do that. So let me show you guys the RC room. Now, you're probably seeing this little thing right here. You're like, what is that? Well, I'm actually using my gimbal for my DSR camera, and this is actually the handle for it, uh, which the camera is supposed to be around, you know, supposed to be around like the, supposed to be like facing the other way, but I have it where I can do selfie mode. So if I want to do some blogging videos like this, which I don't do blogging videos, I don't go walking down the street and say, hey, how are you guys doing today? You know, and done. Uh, but, you know, I decided to use this this way. It gets a nice steady shots. So here is the RC room, and I'll give you a little bit more tour here. As you can see, lots and lots of stuff. <laughs> now, really cool story. So this is one of the master bedrooms here in the house. And uh, this was actually my bedroom at one time. Uh, for many years, I was running out of a small bedroom here in the house. Uh, and it got to the point where I got so overcrowded with all my RCs, with all my film and photography gear that I had, also my detail and stuff I had as well, and all of that was in this little room. And I was like, you know what, I need a bigger bedroom, or a bigger room, or a bigger space. And I was like, you know what, I get this big old master bedroom, it's just myself, I'm not married, I don't have a girlfriend, I don't have kids, it's probably why I can afford this hobby anyway, <laughs> but I was like, you know what, I don't need it. Uh, all I need is my, my bed, my dresser, and my TV. That's all, I'm, that's all I need, all right? So I you know, switched up and I took <laughs> the master bedroom as my RC room. So now let me flip this thing around to the right way so you don't see this handle every time in the video. So let me switch it around. All right, so let's get this. All right, so I'll start kind of this way and then we'll work our way around the whole room here and uh, show off some of the vehicles and stuff. So let's go over here. Now this great big part you see here, this is actually uh, this is my office space, all right? That's my office space. Uh, I spent a great deal of time there uh, working on the videos. Um, you know, just doing like working on the videos there. Uh, also my photography stuff. If you guys don't know, I'm big into photography and uh, you know, I do all my pictures there and straighten out this camera here, uh, which has a lot of stuff stored in there. A lot of my, uh, a lot of my uh, film equipment is stored in there. A couple cameras and stuff like that I had. Uh, but uh, yeah, so take a look up here. So you see these two bags. There's a red one and a blue one. No, this is not Matrix. <laughs> uh, the blue bag has my photography gear in there, my lenses, all the stuff I need for my DSR camera. The red bag is has all of my film equipment, all my video fluid heads and uh, the accessories for the GoPros and uh, for my uh, gimbal that I'm using right now. Uh, so this kind of lets you know that. Uh, if you probably have seen, you're probably looking at the wall here. This is something that I started doing a few years ago. I wish I would have done it sooner, uh, or a long time ago actually. Uh, I like to keep the box art. You know, that way it kind of gives me a reminder of all the RCs that I had in the past. And uh, I think I started doing this probably around 2016 or so uh, when I started doing this. Uh, it's just like this. It's a reminder of all the RCs I had and, uh, and ones I don't have anymore. Like I said, there's a few of them that I did never state the boxes on. But, uh, you know, it makes a great, uh, what do you want to say, a, a great decoration here in the room. Kind of really gives that, that feel. Um, 
So some of the things over here, uh, all my manuals for all of my vehicles are sitting there. RTRs, kit builds, all of there. Um, got a actual wooden tugboat, first ever wooden RC boat I've ever built. Uh, it's incomplete right now, and I don't feel like actually completing it anytime soon. Uh, just one of the things I wanted to try out as I got into it. Looking over here, got a few different bodies. As you all know, I'm a big Hummer fan. I love the Hummer brand. I think they're awesome vehicles. Uh, you know, So I have a Hummer H2, H1, and the Humvee body shell. Now, uh, both of these two body shells are from New Bright RC, one-tenth scale-ish uh, vehicles or bodies. And uh, they're really cool. But uh, this right here is the... Uh, the Humvee from HG, which is the P408, which I actually did a upgrade on that, uh, which I'll show you that in just a minute. But anyway, back to the, uh, the workstation, or my office, <laughs> as you see. Got my little picture there, RCA4 films, the Hummer on there. Uh, look over here. I have this really, really cool scale trailer built from my buddy Christopher Cannon did an awesome job on that. I took it out a few times. I hadn't took it out much here lately. I need to do that. I need to put some new wheels on there and stuff like that. But anyway, that's what I really like. It's really cool. Uh, so like I said, you know, I spent a great deal of time there. Uh, you know, I got my really cool uh, Killer B uh, chair there, which I definitely love this thing. It definitely helps me out <laughs> sitting there for hours at a time. Uh, working on the videos or whatever so uh, yeah so that's just really cool uh, they're not very expensive either and plus this one's got the whole back massager and foot pedals come out and stuff like that I'm sure you guys seen this a time or two um, all right so look over here at the workstation this thing a lot of people are kind of like blown away when they see my workstation because I kind of have it set up right uh, you know, I am very organized right now. I got some stuff actually on there, <laughs> stuff I didn't you know, forget to put up there. But, uh, you know, like I said, I'm very organized. I'm not like OCD or anything. I just like to have a nice uh, workspace uh, where all my tools are put up where they're supposed to be. So that way, if I need a tool, I know where it's at. But I will say, <laughs> when I'm working on a build, that thing is dirty all right right now it's clean because i hadn't done any bills but uh usually this thing is just flat out <laughs> parts everywhere uh you know just looks like a mess just kind of like anybody's rc workstation will look like a mess when you're working on a project but uh take you guys a closer look here so uh Got all my screwdrivers and everything. And like I said, everything is classified where it goes. Actually, I need to put something back too. All right. So like I have all my uh, scissors right there. Scissor, you know, from the body scissors, regular scissors. I got flat heads, fillet heads, uh, the hex drivers. I got some more over here. It's always good to have two sets of hex drivers in case one strips out. You got another one to kind of back up. Same thing with screwdrivers. You know, sometimes, uh, some screws may come out with the ones you have and then it might not come out with the ones you have so it's good to have like a couple of different ones behind you uh, to do whatever uh, got right there a little storage bin and uh, now I do want to point out that the workstation is from Harbor Freight it's actually one of the most uh, it's probably like one of the best things I bought from Harbor Freight um, but it, it definitely works for me. I really like it. And that's, that's, that's all it really matters, right? <laughs> all right. Uh, so over here, got my charger. Onyx 235 is what I use. And I got my tablet right there. It's an iPad mini. Kind of almost outdated almost. Uh, that right there comes in very handy. I'll be sitting here at the RC workstation just kind of doing my thing and I'll play some Netflix or Hulu or whatever so it has some like background noise, all that good stuff. Um, got a really cool power outlet thing. It has like, uh, like four, four outlets on it and four or five USB plugs on it. Makes it really cool for 
you know, doing your workstation and stuff like that. You know, you can also expand it out like I did with mine. I got extra plugs there so I can plug up more. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, this thing, you're probably like, what the heck is this? So this right here is a uh, electronic video pen tilt uh, device. This is actually something I used in my, uh, my movie days there. Uh, so I have a remote that will control this thing. So turn it left and right, up and down. Uh, that way you get those nice smooth panning motions. And I think this was like the before like gimbals came out and stuff like that. Uh, so, but uh, it definitely works. I love using it. All right, uh, look down here. I have a couple of little drawers here. You could probably say, "Oh man, he's so OCD." You know, <laughs> OCD. Uh, so you know, I got this one here has all my like uh, pliers, needle noses, small ones, big ones, wrenches. Uh, got a screw container here with all my uh, different stainless steel uh, hex screws that I use and the nuts as well. Uh, I got my Dremlin right there that's already plugged up. So all I got to do is take it out and start doing whatever I got to do. A couple little small parts there. All the uh, stuff for the Dremlin as well. Take a look over here at this one. This one has all of my uh, all of my zip ties. Heat shrink tape, uh, a lot of little small scale parts that I put in there. Just like you know, you can see like the gas tank, uh, a couple of pipes and stuff like that. Just like stuff, odd in stuff that you would probably maybe will never use or probably will end up using somewhere down the road. But uh, got a section for Velcro uh, wires. So if I need to start wiring up anything, have it all right there. Uh, now down below, I got some more storage bins down there as well. Uh, lots of other things like this one has like like different like paints and a little bit of you know some wood and stuff like that stuff that I would need for uh, for some of the builds and stuff. All right, so now the next thing I show you this thing a lot of people love. They thought it was a great idea that I had. So this right here is an old sunglass display. You know, one of those things you see in the in the store that has the sunglasses on it. Well, I saw this thing on the Facebook market and I was like, hmm, I was like, you know what, that would be a good idea or a good thing to have to put my RC parts and controllers on. And the cool thing about it, can't show you from back here, but try. <laughs> Uh, so, you know, I got all my controllers from there, pistol grips to the stick controllers. There's not one of those Hummer H1 bodies. I know I have a lot of these body shells. <laughs> but, uh, this one right here has all my batteries, and they all go from 2-cell down to 3-cell listed. And then I got all my battery packs for my smaller smaller LiPos, uh, a couple nickel hydrate metal batteries, uh, lithium ion batteries, all the batteries that I use for the construction equipment, a um, few little, you know, action figures and stuff like that I use. So that's on that one right there. Turn this one around again. This one has all of my uh, parts that are vehicles, like extra tree parts and stuff like that. Just a lot of different things, dry shafts and stuff like that, shocks and stuff. All right, so let's turn it again. This one has all of my extra ESCs, motors, brand new motors, <laughs> servos as well on there. Uh, looking on this side over here, servos, 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 transmissions, transmissions, an element chassis. <laughs> Uh, a couple other little things, links, little scale toolbox there, and uh, show you this right here, and all of my stick controllers there. So, yeah. So, I thought that was a really cool idea when I thought about this, and 
it works out so well, especially with being right here at the workstation when I'm working on my vehicles. If I need like the battery or the controller for it uh, or whatever, a part, I can reach over there, turn that thing around and grab what I need. Uh, so that's a really cool idea. And yeah. Now another thing that a lot of people tend to ask me is about the foam on the on the workstation here. Why is this foam here? Well, I have learned over the years of being in this hobby that comfortability is one thing. You definitely want to be comfortable when you're working on your build because you can be here for an hour, two hours, or all day. And so what this foam does, it allows me to be able to sit my hands down and not have to sit on a hard surface like right here. I mean, this is actually a mat that I put on there, but you don't have to sit on a hard surface. So I have this mat here, so that way I can relax my hands, don't have to worry about you know leaving it on there, cramping up and stuff like that. Plus, another thing is that I like this egg crate kind of stuff because uh, that way you can put the screws right here in these little holes so they won't fall out or I won't hit them and then knock them all over the place. Yeah, just kind of little tips right there. You know, I like to be comfortable when I'm working on my builds. So, yeah. Now, let's go to the next thing, which is the main thing, which is all my vehicles are stored at. Everything from my crawlers, my construction vehicles, the boats, the tanks, all that good stuff is up here. So, now this right here was actually an old entertainment system. Now, the young people probably won't know this, but the older people will probably know this. Uh, so this was actually a entertainment stand for the big screen TVs. You know, the, the, the big old screen TVs, like not today's TVs, but the actual uh, TV TVs, you know. And uh, so I ended up using that to store all my vehicles. Like I said <laughs> before, at the, end, uh, at the first beginning of this video, is that I feel like this is my own personal hobby shop because I have all my vehicles displayed out and everything just looking good so when people do come over like wow that's really cool so let me do a run through of some of the vehicles here so we got the Hummer H1 which is the P48 P slash P415 uh, really cool really cool vehicle 17 pound vehicle as well all made of metal other than the body's plastic but I done a, uh, just recently did a full upgrade on this this was the 408 from HG which is the military Humvee and I really wanted the H1 edition which is the P415 from HG and uh, so I did a whole build on that but you can see that on the channel uh, come down in here I have my element element <laughs> element comp crawler this is on a team G speed chassis carbon fiber Got the high clear links on it. Uh, running all the stock components from a uh, from a an <laughs> Element Trail Walker. Uh, so I used the you know the axles, the motor, the transmission, the shocks, all on that. And I put on uh, some Super Swamper TSLs, 1.9 extra large ones on there. That's my comp crawler, and this thing is a killer. It, it pretty much goes everywhere I want it to go. Uh, just a really awesome vehicle. Uh, coming down here, got my 124 scale MOA style crawler. This thing is pretty awesome. You can get this from Hobby King for like a hundred bucks, uh, which is not bad, and like seven dollars for batteries. So not bad. Uh, you know, it's like I said, motor, Mo, MOA style, which is motor on axle. So there's motors on each axle, dual servos. So it's four wheel steering on it. Awesome little thing. Very capable vehicle as well. And uh, you can see I got some tires next to it. Lots and lots of tires. <laughs> All right, go down here. I got my Trail Finder 2 from RC4 Drive. This is one of my probably second builds I've ever done on an RC. And this thing is just so awesome. Very detailed. Uh, and show you right there in the back all my little scale items. I got a rigid toolbox, the Coca Cola crate. Uh, pallet back there. You just a lot of, lot of things back there that I have on here. Little guy there. I love the, like '70s style paint job I went with, and I went back there and kind of roughed it up and stuff. 
uh, boom racing wheels and tires on there the baby hustlers awesome tires so uh, yeah all right so down here is a vehicle that uh, has only ran a few times here on the channel this is the M1025 Humvee from Tamiya again I know what's with you and Humvees and Hummers I, I don't know it's just something that I've always loved when I saw these these vehicles as a kid I fell in love with them just their sheer capability and what they can do I I, I love them uh, so yeah but yeah but anyway this one right here is actually just a pretty much a shelf queen It's from 1995 uh, I know that I think they released it back in the 2000 era but I think this is from 95 because just the way it looks um, but I did a full rebuild on this thing and uh, that was kind of tricky but uh, it just kind of sits up here right now and just uh, just sitting there <laughs> I know it's a shame I should not have any uh, you know you know uh, shelf queens but it's an old vehicle and as old vehicles are you know it's hard to get parts for and stuff like that but yeah all right down here I got a couple of my Henlong RC battle tanks these are 1 16th scale ones so this one right here is the Bulldog Walker tank this is actually my first uh, World War II tank and it's an awesome tank uh, I don't really use it that much and then I have the uh, the Sherman tank there as well, 16th scale. Now both of these are aerosol BB guns. They have they shoot aerosol BBs. They have lights. They have sound. They have smoke. They help the whole nine yards. Uh, they are a lot of fun. Uh, just nobody in my area is really into the tanks. I have to go like four or five hours up the road <laughs> to uh, play with guys who have tanks there, and uh, you know so yeah, but. That's something I wanted to try out just to see if I liked it or not, but uh, they're pretty cool. All right, so look over here. Uh, so I got a few things that says RC84. My older brother, he uh, does all this wood burning and craft stuff, and he made this clock for me saying RC84 with the uh, <laughs> looks like a maybe a Chevy or a Bronco on there. And then uh, he also made another plaque. It says RCA for uh, RCA for films RC forever. <laughs> so I thank him for making those. Uh, uh, this right here is the Rescue 17 Fire Boat from Archercraft Models. It's a boat that I bought several years ago. Really cool boat. This thing's right about four feet long, uh, or uh, yeah, it's right shy of like 38 inches long. So it's about shy of four feet long or three foot long, maybe. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure anymore, but uh, you yeah, know, extremely awesome boat, very beautiful, uh, very scaled out as well. Put all these little uh, fire dudes on there, and uh, it's got the water cannon that actually shoots water out, and it's just an awesome boat. It's not a very fast boat, but it is a boat that will throw up a nice little wake there on the front and stuff. So uh, that's really it's a really cool boat. All right, so let's go up here now all right now this is where i got all of my construction vehicles stored at which i got into heavy back uh last year in 2021 there i got really really heavy into the rc construction stuff i thought it just it was a lot of fun to do uh so i got a uh, dump truck and now these are supposed to be 114th scales i've never actually seen a 114th scale vehicle before so trying to compare them both side to side, I, I don't really know, but anyway, they're 14th scale supposed to be. Uh, I got the front loader. Now, both of these vehicles are from Tanya, or Hunana, Hinina, or whatever <laughs> that, that name is. Um, but they're running on, they're not hydraulics. Both of these are not hydraulics. They are actually running on servo actuators, but they're very powerful servo actuators. They can carry a great deal of load. I mean, look at the bucket on this thing. Here's my hand. That thing is pretty, it's pretty wide. All right, I know that's what she said. <laughs> um, but yeah, but uh, it's still extremely awesome. Four drive, all that good stuff, lights, sound, the whole nine yards. And we got the old mighty Excavator, which this thing I I actually love. This is my favorite construction vehicle to use. Well, one of my first, you know, one of my uh, favorite ones to run because this thing is like multiple. Uh, a multi-purpose vehicle. I mean, you can use it for basically anything. 
Uh, got a couple of attachment items. Got the hook, the, the claw. Like, look at this. It's in my hand. It gives you a size how big it is there. I know. <laughs> I also got you know the grabber. I got an extra large wide bucket for it. And then of course the stop bucket on there. Uh, definitely is awesome. It carries a lot. And uh, it's just a lot of fun to operate that thing. So yeah. All right. So the next construction vehicles. One of the, I got a couple little, uh, they're not hobby grade, they're more toy grade RC you know, construction vehicles, but I decided to get them anyway. I thought they were really cool. Now this one right here, this 579 Dozer, that is my favorite one to run out of all the other ones. So I got a couple of other little dozers, steam roller or road roller if you want to say. And then I actually have another excavator, but this is a, a toy grade one that doesn't really do what it says it's going to do. Uh, so yeah, so, <laughs> uh, so yeah, so that's the construction vehicles there. And like I said, I have a blast running these things. They're, uh, they're just so much fun. You can sit down and operate your whole entire fleet and you don't have to get up or anything. I like that. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look over here. Another vehicle that a lot of people love. This is the HC6 from Cross RC 6x6 military truck. This is actually one of my, uh, my actually second favorite military vehicle. Uh, they call them five tons if you want to you know, get more specific with it. But uh, this is another kit build. One that I've been wanting for a long time and I finally got it and I was like, man, this thing's just so cool. Uh, you know, I got the light and sound unit in it, two-speed transmission, uh, just a really awesome vehicle. And I painted it in a uh, kind of a gray primer color. I thought that that would be kind of pretty awesome. I might switch up the color for it. I don't know yet. Kind of in the air, but anyway. All right, so down here, got Dad's Axial SCX-10 2 vehicle, his crawler. And... Uh, this is one that he built himself and painted. I mean, look at the paint job. Other than the scratches on the thing, <laughs> on the body, but the paint laid out so smoothly. He does such a great job at that. Uh, of course, you know, I flipped the bill on this project. He didn't have to do anything but build it. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, come down here. I got this uh, 1 18th scale baby wraith, I want to call it. I think it's 118th or one, yeah, I think it's 118th scale. Uh, but extremely little awesome, very capable little rig. Right now, this thing's down, the motor kind of tore up, and I, I took the servo out of it to use in uh, the Humvee there. Uh, so, yeah, but it's awesome. It's got some very, you know, really good flex on it. And you see, I got some tires around it as well. A lot of cheap knockoff wheels that either I got from people or I've gotten from purchase of rims and stuff like that. All right, down here is my Axial SCX-10 II, the CRC edition <laughs> uh, that I bought back in 2017. Uh, right now, it is looking god off of the ugly. It needs a rebuild on it badly. The bodies, just look at the body. It's all banged up, scratched up. Uh, I got the Coca-Cola Bear in there, and uh, just needs a lot of work. I got some small tires on there just to kind of put it up just to you know, have it there. Uh, so yeah, a lot of work needs to be done to this thing. That's probably one of my next projects I'll probably work on is getting this thing back together and get it out there and running again. All right, so the next one. This is the Conkhead 6x6 from Tamiya. Uh, my first six wheel drive vehicle and I believe this is actually my first hobby grade kit build i'm i can't really remember it's been a while uh but it was a great kit to build a lot of fun right now this is not one of these vehicles that's kind of sitting up here uh the motor's missing because motor burned up on it uh so another thing i'll have to fix here soon but still an awesome vehicle uh, this thing will go anywhere, especially if you lock up all three differentials, it's non-stop. That thing will just go pretty much anywhere and everywhere. Uh, extremely fast once you put a motor in there. Uh, just a good bashing type vehicle, and I have a lot of fun with that. 
All right, down here I got two of these little, uh, I believe they're the Ripsaw tanks. They're 1203. Uh, you can buy these off of a few dollars, or, you know, a couple, you know, like 50 to $100 for them. They're really awesome. I mean, <laughs> they're so much fun just to get out and just drive around. And they're the most easiest tanks I have ever drove or drive before. They run on pistol grip controllers, so there's no stick on it. I thought that was really cool. Uh, they're just so cool. I mean, <laughs> that's all I got to say. So, yeah. All right, so I'm going to show you all the next thing that I use a lot in this room, all right? So I told you I spent a great deal of time in this room, all right? Yeah, I spent a great deal of time in this room here. And so one of the things I have to have, and I think you can agree with me, and everyone will agree with me, or they already have something like this in their room. Not the studio light. <laughs> Look at that it's cool effect right there. But anyway... Let's come over here. Come on over. There we go. Look at that. I have basically a mini kitchen here. I got my refrigerator and a microwave. So if I get thirsty, I can go right straight to the refrigerator. If I'm hungry, yep. I'll pop me some popcorn, eat me something like that. Drinks. I always have drinks in here. Um, I'm a little low right now. <laughs> I actually got more down below. <laughs> I know you guys are like, whoa, man, what the heck's with you? I said, yeah, you know. Uh, so, I, yeah, I, I got, I visit the store at least once a week there and then grab up a bunch of sodas and stuff like that because I, I drink sodas. I know I shouldn't drink them. They're bad for you, la, la, la. <laughs> but anyway, uh, you guys are also seeing some of my detail stuff there. Uh, I used to have a detail business and, uh, I keep all my stuff in here. I got all my other equipment inside the uh, the closet there, but also up here. Pressure washer, shampooer. Uh, over in that black case right there, that is where my DJI Phantom 3 drone is stored in right now. Uh, I got to work on that thing. It took a little tumble a few years ago, and I just never had to do dicey to fix it or anything. I got the parts to do it. I just never got back into you know to fixing it but yeah so so there you go my friends that is the rc room tour 2022 i hope that you guys write my rc room i love it it's great oh there's one vehicle i didn't show y'all <laughs> that's the diecast master semi truck 116th scale casidia and uh it's awesome Got a Bruder Trader on there with a, uh, another dozer. So, uh, yeah. Of course, the other one has the lights and sound on and all that good stuff. You can hook up, carry trailers and stuff like that. But, yeah. So, that is the RC room. And I hope that you guys enjoy the room. And, uh, yeah. I um, hope that you all hear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got lost track. It's getting a little late right now. But, uh, yeah, I just hope that you guys uh, appreciate my room and uh, like it and everything. I worked very hard. This is probably 12 years of work in this room here. See, I've been on YouTube since 2010. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's been definitely uh, a lot of years in this. So... So there you go my friends I hope that you enjoyed this video if you did smash that thumb like button and comment down below let me know what you think about the RC room I'm flying blind right now looking at this usually I have the screen showing me but <laughs> anyway hopefully that this is doing good maybe I'll bring it out a little bit but yeah so I hope that you appreciate my room I worked extremely hard on this thing and uh, all that good stuff so so yeah so yeah <laughs> well, I think I've covered everything in this room. Oh, sorry. Kind of have to try to look at the screen here, flip it around. There we go. All right, there we go. I can see now. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. 
Uh, now you're probably asking what kind of gimbal are you using to do the videos with? Uh, I'm using a Feutech AK2000S gimbal. Uh, look it up. Definitely awesome gimbal for the price. Uh, you're getting a whole lot of features on this thing. Uh, you know, you've seen it in the videos. Uh, you know, it does such a great job and you know, all that <laughs> stuff. Um, but yeah, so, but like I said, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, Again, smash that thumbs like button. Comment down below. If you got any questions, uh, comments, concerns, whatever you want to do, post it down below. Let me know. I would love to see them. Um, so, yeah. All right. So, that is it. I'm going to call it a night. 360 tour. <laughs> All right, my friends. So. <sighs> <laughs> it's so cool I can just move this thing around like that and somewhat steady we'll see all right all right my friends well thank you again for watching if you stayed through this whole video I know it's gonna be fairly long but there's so much to show so much to talk about so yeah all right guys well again thank you Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching the video, watching this whole thing. If you did, thank you. And, uh, well, I think we're going to call it quits on this and get done with this video. Because <laughs> I've been holding this gimbal for a while. My arm's tired. I'm ready to go to bed. <laughs> All right, my friends. So thank you again for watching. And I'll see y'all later.